I'll have the shepherd's pie. I'm sorry, but that's not on the menu. Foods we take for granted in America are not always easily found elsewhere. So let's check out 10 American foods that are banned in other countries. Instant mashed potatoes. You're not turning me into a mashed potato. Instant mashed potatoes are a quick and easy way to make a classic dish without all the peeling and cutting. However, you might be better off making your mashed potatoes from scratch instead of from a pouch because there is a potential problem with the instant variety. It turns out that these convenient packages are made with a preservative called butylated hydroxyanisole, BHA. This chemical sounds like something you would expect to find at a crude oil processing plant instead of something you would expect to find in packages of instant mashed potatoes. There's something in my food. This preservative is found in a wide range of foods that includes everything from potato chips to gum. You can even find this chemical in some beers. A lot of people have been turned off by this information, and for good reason. Some of the governments that think BHA is problematic are those of Japan, Australia, and the European Union. Like so many other chemicals, this preservative is believed to be a carcinogen. Despite what these other countries have decided to do about BHA, you're still going to find this preservative in your instant mashed potatoes when you buy them in America. Fat-free potato chips. I'm your brand muffin, probably fat-free and good for your colon. Fat-free potato chips sound like a great invention that many of us would embrace. Many snackers were understandably delighted when fat-free snacks started showing up on their supermarket shelves. If the idea of tasty, fat-free snacks sounds too good to be true, it's because they kind of are. To make fat-free snack chips or french fries that taste decent, the snack makers decided to substitute the usual vegetable oils with a fat substitute called Olestra. Unlike natural fatty oils, this chemical adds no calories to foods. Naturally, Olestra became a popular ingredient in products like Frito-Lay's line of Wow chips introduced in the 1990s. Bring back Lay's Wow chips with Olestra. People readily accepted the introduction of snacks that contained the fake fat because who doesn't want zero-calorie potato chips? Snacks using this fake fat were popular at first, but then people started to notice that there could be some negative side effects. Some people suffered uncomfortable stomach issues after eating products that contained Olestra. The more serious problem, however, is the fact that the fake fat has been found to interfere with your body's ability to absorb fat-soluble vitamins. Perhaps the lesson we should take away from this is that we should enjoy regular potato chips and other snacks in moderation, instead of overindulging on a fake fat that comes with negative side effects. Little Debbie Swiss Rolls here, have a Little Debbie. Little Debbie snack cakes have long been a favorite of kids of all ages who enjoy a sweet treat. These snack cakes come in many varieties, including zebra cakes, oatmeal cream pies, as well as the ever-popular Swiss rolls. This sweet snack features chocolate cake, cream filling, and a rich fudge coating. As delicious as these little cakes sound, they are actually one of the American foods that are banned in other countries. Unfortunately, these chocolate snack cakes contain a pair of artificial food dyes called Yellow 5 and Red 40. Both of these synthetic food dyes are believed to cause negative side effects in children. But it has a neat side effect. The European Union requires that all foods that contain these artificial dyes come with a warning label on the package. The EU has banned the dyes altogether in food for babies and young children. Countries such as Norway and Austria have taken things to the next level and decided to completely ban the Little Debbie Swiss rolls from their supermarket shelves. For people who grew up eating Little Debbie snack cakes, the ban on them might seem like a bit of an overreaction. Whether the ban is necessary or not, snack lovers in America can still get as many of the popular Little Debbie snack cakes as they want, including the Swiss rolls. Mountain Dew Hey, Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew is the citrus-flavored high-caffeine soda with a peculiar green color. It's not the caffeine, however, that has people concerned enough to want the soft drink banned. Mountain Dew contains an ingredient called brominated vegetable oil. This is a food additive that is sometimes found in citrus sodas. Some health experts have expressed concerns that BVO can cause irritation of the skin and mucous membranes. This additive has also been implicated in some more serious problems as well, 
such as memory loss and impaired balance and coordination. The potential problems thought to be caused by BVO have led a number of countries to ban Mountain Dew. No more Mountain Dew. The places that have insisted on a ban include the European Union, India, and Japan. Soda drinkers in America can still get their Mountain Dew fix whenever they want, so they might be a little surprised to know it is one of the American foods that are banned in other countries. It's too bad kids in these other countries can't get Mountain Dew. Maybe the soft drink company could work to substitute BVO with an acceptable additive that would get Mountain Dew on the supermarket shelves in the places it's currently not available. Chicken. One meat, one chicken. And can you make the chicken all white meat? Americans eat a lot of chicken, both at home and at restaurants. It's a versatile meat that can be barbecued, baked, grilled, and fried. There are so many ways to cook chicken that it seems like an obvious food for America to export to other countries. However, chicken is one of the American foods that are banned in other countries. What's the issue with American chicken? It's not the chicken itself, but how it is processed. Arsenic is often included in chicken feed because it increases the size of the chicken and it also makes the color of their flesh more appealing to consumers. Perhaps these are worthy goals for chicken processors, but unfortunately, the Environmental Protection Agency lists arsenic as a substance that can cause cancer in humans. Objection! Unhealthy! The European Union also doesn't like the fact that many American chickens are bathed in a chlorine and water bath and has banned the practice since 1997. The chicken companies argue that the chlorine and water baths are legitimate antibacterial measures that reduce instances of food poisoning. The EU probably isn't going to change its decision anytime soon. You'll have to decide what you think of these practices for yourself the next time you buy chicken. Skittles. I'd whisper it, but Skittles will sue us. The colorful Skittles candies in the red bag might give candy lovers a taste of the rainbow, but the treat has issues that have to be addressed. You might think of Skittles as a harmless treat you indulged in as a kid, or perhaps you still enjoy them on a regular basis. Either way, you would probably want to know that this well-known candy is one of the American foods banned in other countries. Like too many other foods, Skittles contain a pair of artificial dyes known as Yellow 5 and Yellow 6. These dyes are found in everything from soft drinks to snack chips. A number of countries, such as Norway and Sweden, have decided to ban both of these artificial artificial dyes. There are experts that believe these artificial food dyes can cause allergic reactions as well as hyperactivity in children. Think chemical bank. Oh, they were chemical. The European Union allows the sale of Skittles and other snacks that use dyes that are made from natural sources like fruits and vegetables. The EU requires products that contain the artificial dyes to have labels that explain the concerns it has about allergies and hyperactivity so customers can make an informed decision. It would be nice if all the Skittles were made with the natural food dyes, but until that happens, candy lovers in Sweden and Norway will have to do without this colorful and tasty treat. Farmed Salmon Why is there wild salmon, not farm-raised salmon? Salmon is usually described as a healthy choice by nutritionists and other food experts because this fish is full of omega-3 fatty acids. This hearty fish is a good choice most of the time, but unfortunately, some kinds of salmon come with their own set of problems you should know about. If you have a choice, you should always choose the natural caught salmon over the farm-raised salmon. The trouble with the farm-raised version is that the fish are often fed a diet of grains and antibiotics. As you probably guessed, wild Old salmon do not normally eat grain, antibiotics, or any other drugs. This is an unhealthy diet that produces salmon with flesh that is an unappealing gray color instead of the usual pink color you're used to seeing. I won't eat them. A chemical called astaxanthin, which is made from petrochemicals, is given to the fish to turn their flesh back to pink. If you think none of this sounds appetizing, you're not the only one, because farm-raised salmon is one of the American foods that are banned in other countries. A lot of people will go out of their way to get salmon specifically because they know about the health benefits it has over a lot of other kinds of meat and fish. If you're one of these health-conscious people, you should make sure you only get the wild-caught variety so you're not eating fish that has been raised using unhealthy practices. M&M's I bought M&M's at the vending machine and two bags came out. 
M&Ms are the beloved chocolate candy with the colorful shells that melt in your mouth and not in your hand. Despite their continued popularity with children and adults alike, M&Ms are one of the American foods that are banned in other countries. In the case of M&Ms, the bright candy shells are the problem because in America, the shells are made with artificial dyes. The M&Ms you can buy in the European Union are made with natural food dyes instead of artificial ingredients. You are natural. A petition was sent back in 2014 to try to get the candy maker, Mars Inc., to use the same natural dyes it's already using in Europe for the M&Ms it makes in America. The candy company agreed to stop using the artificial colors at some point, but for now it is still using them for the American-made candy. Perhaps Mars is resistant to making the change because it would cost the company a lot of money. Whatever the reason, the M&Ms in America are still different than the ones you can get in Europe. Up. Candy lovers probably don't care all that much about what kind of dyes are being used to make the colorful shells, but American snackers should be able to get the better quality ingredients that their European cousins are enjoying when they open a bag of M&Ms. Milk Is that milk? Milk and other dairy products like cheese and yogurt are staples in many kitchens across America. Milk continues to be a popular food because it is a good source of protein and calcium. Much of the milk produced in America often can't be sold in other countries because of what is added to it. Dairy products produced in America sometimes contain the growth hormone known as RBHG. This is a synthetic hormone that is fed to cows so they will produce more milk than they would normally be able to produce on their own. It makes sense that dairy producers would want to do what they can to increase the amount of milk the cows make. Unfortunately, there is a downside to this practice, since this hormone can come with negative consequences for people. Wait. Even to me. When you ingest the synthetic hormone found in these dairy products, there is a possible increase in your risk of getting some types of cancer. The European Union and Canada have looked at this issue and decided to ban dairy products that contain this growth hormone. Consumers in America can avoid exposure to this hormone if they buy organic milk to dip their cookies in. Beef no roast beef. Beef is basically a staple of the American diet. People always have an appetite for hamburgers and steaks. You can't go very far in America without seeing a fast food chain that's trying to sell you a big, juicy burger. Even with food prices on the rise, Americans will likely continue to eat a lot of beef. The European Union, as well as a number of other countries, have a serious issue with American beef because it is usually raised using growth hormones. The synthetic hormones used by American American companies are designed to make the cattle grow bigger than they naturally would. Maybe this is a smart business decision, but it's not what's best for the consumer. The drugs have names like Xeranol, Trenbolone Acetate, and Melangestrol Acetate. These are very artificial sounding chemicals that probably shouldn't be in anyone's beef. Just don't ask where the meat comes from. <clears throat> America does have regulations that prohibit the use of growth hormones for chicken and pork farmers. However, for some reason, the regulators haven't made the same mark on the beef industry yet. If you want to buy beef in America and be confident it doesn't contain the synthetic growth hormones, you have to buy beef that is certified organic. Check out more great videos. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.